Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the 22nd edition of a special Islamic program, Arisala, with Richie from AYB Television, Channel 33. I'm going to bring the program come to you, Na Al Haji Abdurrahman. Arisala is a special inspirational and motivational series we designed for the young Muslims and Muslima. And this program designed for see how best to improve or build on the spirituality of the young Muslim and Muslim so that they're able to contribute better, better one towards national development. May they bring the program come to you, Al Haji Abdurrahman. In today's edition of Arisala, inshallah, we'll get a beautiful Quranic recitation and translation as usual. We will get a spoken word, we will get my message segment, we will get Sadaka corner, and also not forget to think about it. Inshallah, I'm so going to invite your brother, Brother Muhammad Malado, for make it do for we recitation from Surah As-Saf. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Huwa alladhi arsala rasoolahu bil huda wa deen il haqq li zuhirahu ala deen kulli it is he who sent his apostle with the guidance and the true religion, that he may make it overcome the religions, all of them, though the polytheist may hate it. <laughs> O you who believe, shall I lead you to a trade that may deliver you from a painful punishment? You shall believe in Allah and his apostle and struggle hard in Allah's way with your property and your lives. That is better for you if you but know. يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَيُدْخِلْكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ وَمَسَاكِنَ طَيِّبَةً فِي جَنَّاتِ عَدْنٍ فِي جَنَّاتِ عَدْنٍ ذَلِكَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ He will forgive you your fault and cause you to enter into gardens beneath which rivers flow and godly dwellings in gardens of eternity. That is the mighty achievement. And yet another blessing that you love, help from Allah and a victory near at hand, and give good news to the believers. MashaAllah, plenty, plenty thank you to Brother Muhammad Malado for the beautiful recitation in the from Surah Asaf, the chapter of the ranks. Of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala start for talk that in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now he send down the Quran to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa as a guidance and not only a guidance but as a true religion. That even though if the kufar they hate him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't make this possible. And Allah not tap the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they ask you a very beautiful question. He said, if we want to make it show me a business, a business where if me and you to engage this business, we're going for succeed in this life, we're going for succeed in the life of the grave, a business where be safe, we engage in and this business going for give you more, more, more profit. Allah show me the way to the business. He said, first of all, we need for believing in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also believe in Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala encourage you for make we spend, let we use with money, let we use with life, let we use with time, let we use everything in a path, in a deen. And if we do this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept you and Allah will put you in the highest of Jannah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let him make you there among the people away the things so that we can for engage in such a beautiful and not only a beautiful but a very, very profitable business. So now I time for make you join the message segment and so I go um, hand over now to brother Sheku al Hussain. Assalamualaikum uh warahmatullahi -huh. ta'ala barakatuh. Welcome to my message segment with me Sheku al Hussain Mansari. Uh, inshallah today is our segment uh, we will try for look at the biggest project we have believe see an Islamic organization not ever uh, unveiled inside this country we are richly unreachable with just one dollar or ten thousand limbs. In the past uh, edition the message we look at sincerity but today as this project we know it's a very big project and we know the, 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 the value and the benefits really inside it we try for no more 
about this project and how far this particular project and they go. But before that, still people in outside there who want to know uh, how this project is on the go really. I get a particular honorable and humble man from the Dagba Charity Foundation where uh, now they see how this particular project here they go before and make it become successful. Uh, winner, Brother Abdullah Ben Kamara. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, uh, brother Abdullah Ben Kamara, uh, RT, you reached the unreachable just one dollar and ten thousand dollars. We we don't they, some of we don't they know about this project, but uh, the, the the viewers out there who still want to know more about this particular project, or maybe somebody who look me out there now in first time this for making a, a, a know about this project. What is RT you there about? Well, the word RT you. When I reach the unreachable, actually, it's a project we geared towards raising funds for see how best we will push the development of Islam and national development as a whole. Um, this thing is not strange. If we trace back during, during the time of Omar in Qatar, this was one of the ideas that the Muslims had used by then for see how they would develop their life. So, um, RTU, if we bring that to a real level, like project inside Dakva, for see how best we go gather the resources of the Muslims and see how we will develop the lifestyle. A gear towards health, agriculture, education, um, um, so many, many things there. So you try to say RTU on a particular project to encourage every Sierra Leonean for, for gear out to it and get so that we, they will use that for national development, right? Definitely. And, and that development they make varies as you don't begin I like. Uh, this RTU don't even go on for about few months now as far as I, I know. Uh, the people out there go and know how far now the project don't they go. I so now. Now. Um, the project don't detect now, we just the last for about three months. Okay. Within these three months, Alhamdulillah, we don't able to talk to so many places. We don't ask and we don't meet with so many Muslims. And we don't employ people and let we remind them. We want to be part of this project. In that vein, then people that don't help or make we, we don't coordinate. At, at least over 5,000 Muslims, you know, um, 5,000 people. Because this cut across Muslim and Christian yeah, yeah, yeah. to some extent. Yeah. 5,000 people they don't subscribe or they don't give a name for see how themselves go be part of this project. And then, as me and you talk right now, collection they don't give a word. Wow, so, sure. and then, in that light, we intend for start very, very soon in terms of agriculture, in terms of um, um, getting an Islamic park where it will serve as a recreational center and then we intend for even go into f to food, we will feed the uh, Okay, then are some of the, the projects that we're going to try to implement through this morning when they come inside. No. Um, uh, now, you say we we'll only get about 5,000 or more registration, and most no. of them, some of the people in there, they don't begin the pay. Um, people will want to know if now within this free town no more, we don't do that registration in there, or we don't extend out of free town to the other areas then part of the country. The, the 5,000 are mentioned, this is just for people. Okay. But we, 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 we get a team uh, for local. Currently, we don't get people of over 1,000. And shortly, we intend for extend a, a, a different part of the continent. Okay. Um, the, this particular project is uh, very interesting, and we all know how it is it, it somehow, I would say, somehow hectic. Because for reach out to every Sierra Leonean, you know, really easy. So. Along this way, I hope to see, I know see some challenges that mostly along the way. So what are some of the challenges that they want to face currently for me to people and they are registered in the program? Um, one of the greatest challenges we face are the manpower. Considering that Salu gets over 70 million people there, and how can just few number meet that kind of people there? So um, we want more manpower. And then the people that we, we need definitely they do our feasibility lab. We not get something for pay them. So actually for let me tie somebody down, we get family, we get needs. And for make it you get into I want, it really, really take time. And again we 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 need tools them, logistics like 
transport vehicle for see how, how we route to the promised system will be easy. These are just some of the things we will need, but we get a lot of nature groups. And uh, and the South side people and come together for achieve one goal, challenges them mostly. Yes. And manpower now one of the greatest things that they will project their need. Um, the success is them, uh, you know I like them really. Yes. But within us some of the the opportunities them out there are when you see some them if maybe people them get their opportunity then they identify it. Maybe then self somebody will be out there we go on for come on board and see how we all will come achieve this particular dream. You can get the people and they so I don't know. Um, we we actually plan for partner with so many people, right? but one of the, the opportunity of the, the project, and that the project is simple or it, or is simple for just um, implement. Okay. We all can be part of it. Now, my own, own corner, I can just take me wife, me, me the king, me cousin, me auntie. So um, everybody can buy for for opt for support this project. This is now one of the opportunity we get, and then any people or somebody who will explain this project to and they see the benefit of them and again they go make the person they buy for joining and then we get people at the end we do the support with like Sheikh Faou and some of the Sheikhs there where just because people can see them then they put trust by this, this project so these are some of the opportunities they have so far but again since what they mentioned the challenge one of the challenges we get people that don't lost trust in giving because most most of the time, people they wouldn't can trust with the right with this giving, then can then can misuse them. So again, for let we change that mindset, you know, one of the biggest challenges. Yeah, you come up with a very good point. People that only lost trust and uh, make you gain back that particular trust day a very big challenge. So as a foundation, uh, as a unique foundation, which in really you see make one unique and different from the other organizations that we sometimes don't need to in the day. And how the people then will get uh, 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 trust see this particular organization not be like the other organizations at all. So one of the unique factors that we we'll get, the, this this group, Dakva, it cut across so many regions in Bangui. We get full amount, get in the get in the this is unique. Then, then secondly, we we intend starting from next week for the update the people in every step. So not to just we really the we think and just do it what we intend for carry the because every cent we spend at, at the people level. So now so we, we hope for the credibility to to this project. Okay. Uh, that that the transparency and, and accountability. No. Um, the the foundation, that charity foundation. If, some, if somebody wants for come on board and see how this particular project they go before, not only that it be not only that bad people then they push this particular project before or the project before they open to everybody this one. Definitely no. Um, the project starts from that bad. Now that bad they, they spare them. But you don't necessarily mean say unless you be a member of that bar before you you be part of this project. As we say this project now for every human being. This this project geared towards national development. So based on that we all can, can be part. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Brother Abdullahi Ben Kamara. And this particular segment here, they call out my message segment. That means, see, uh, any guests who we get here, before you left here, if we left you a message to the viewers team out there, whether on any anything so far, especially on this particular project, we want to know whose message will you get for them today. So if you want to give that kind of message, then whose message will you give? Uh, the simple message you are going to give family, now that this project don't come for change in life. This project now for give and get. You can get spiritual benefit, and, and, and again, you get developmental benefit. So based on that, we want May Yusuf be part by just giving just 10,000 euros for change people in life. Oh, uh, alhamdulillah, I'm very much overwhelmed by the message, the message now that this particular project come for transform me life, and it come for come bring development. When you give, you get, because the give they give out of there and they use them for develop the nation, change people in life where you serve will benefit from. Thank you very much and uh, I'm very much happy for the opportunity yeah, program today. We hope for see you back next time again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Well, we don't get the we, we respected message from uh, our noble brother. We know that if you give whatever you get or they are required, money we 10,000 per year for make the user for transform the nation.
use them for big that for national development and use them for help the less privileged people then. And don't forget, Brother Tebu as well say, let you give. When you give, you will get. That a main say, when you give out of what you give, then they also use them for benefit the nation. And when the nation don't benefit, you serve them benefit. Come on board now and come join the, 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 the RTU project and reach the one day they they had for reach. People and they really suffer. And maybe that 10,000 years could be the solution to the problem. And with with, 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 with that Bad Charity Foundation and this particular project, I believe say you dream to make you achieve Jannah will be achieved, inshallah. Me and Sheikhu Al Hussein Al Sari, I say, Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. And don't forget to smile, because it's not soon enough. Special thank you to Brother Sheikhu Al Hussein. We whose story brought up live then as a can talk about project which then which it will just one dollar. Of course, this night project we now for each and every Sierra Indian for make we come together and see how best we serve global for contribute towards national development. You know, you ten thousand loans can go a long way. Plenty of people that already be part, thousands of thousands. So what do you the wait for? It's high time you come on board and see how best you serve global for contribute better one towards national development by just subscribing ten thousand loans. For the one earlier. With the 10,000 years, inshallah, plenty begin and will get the opportunity for make the land book. Plenty families go able for smile. Plenty comrade them with them begin and they seek and they forget medication. Go able forget medication. Inshallah, all this particular project need now you 10,000 years for the one earlier. I hope so you go subscribe, inshallah, and be part of the change we, we all they ask for. Now that time for make you relax your mind as you don't listen to all of this. So we will now take a very beautiful Nasheed titled, You Are Not Alone. More than 200,000 Syrians have died. Five million people have become homeless. Death and destruction of men, women and children all over Syria. I've been to those refugee camps. I've seen it with my own eyes. Words cannot describe the painful suffering of the Syrian people. Where are we? Millions of Syrian children have been forced to flee their homes. Every day is a struggle surviving. Tell me how long can this carry on? So much pain you carry upon your shoulders Far too much to carry along This Ummah is one body We're here to help you carry the load You're not alone, Syria You're not alone Keep holding on You're not alone, Syria You're not alone is crying broken hearts and shattered souls do not worry brothers and sisters our Rahman sees it all why do children have to pay with their life's blood so much pain in the Something has to change Don't you worry, don't you worry I see the rivers of blood flowing through your valley We've got a plan, we've got a plan To ease this pain of the sacred land You're not alone, Syria You're not alone Holding on, you're not alone, not alone Syria. Syria. You're not alone. Just keep yeah, holding imagine, on. And as she said, you know that is titled "You're Not Alone." And our combined moon sheets and don't for we definitely whatever problems, whatever trials, whatever struggle they go through, I want to make you know say you know they alone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they with you and we serve as Muslims we they with you for make sure see this particular problem here so you know go be solved inshallah. Alhamdulillah now not time for me to take a very beautiful spoken word title Help the Nili by our brother Sheikh Al Hussain.
There is a promise of great reward from above for putting a smile on the face of the poor. It could be a smile, food, or even a dime. The tradition of giving is what we must rewind. Indeed, charity is Allah's project. Join hands, don't reject. You will never regret the reward you will get. Giving is part of living. Ask those who are giving. They'll tell you they are receiving more from the ever living. Charity has rewards you've never seen. Through it, Allah wipes away your sins. For many ailments, it's a medicine. So it should be done by every person. Give charity with sincerity. Do not spend in laxity. Surely, worth is vanity. Give some for the eternity. Why don't you help the needy? Please, let us not be greedy. Some are even bleeding. Deep down, they are bleeding. Every day they're trying, starving and crying. And if you check up in the streets, some are even dying. No. Woe unto those who do not feed the poor. They've got all the chances, but they close the door. If only they could see ahead the bigger problems. Well, lie, all their riches they will take and spend. If only they could see ahead the bigger reward. Well, lie, in charity they will start moving forward. To the poor needy orphans, never you say no. My dear fellow Muslim, don't act as if you don't know the risks behind the fact that you're rejecting the poor. Your wealth may lose baraka if you do not spend. And if you give in sadaqah, then you will gain. You want to succeed, brother, start sowing the seed. Pray to Allah and in goodness take the lead. The time is fading, stop the sinning, don't be greedy, help the needy. And inshallah, I hope you are ready. Daily Quranic verse and hadith, a foundation you and I should be with. Reviving a tradition that is almost forgotten. Standing against the wall of greed, making sure it's broken. Yeah, indeed, in place of greed, charity must supersede. To make the poor smile that we want to see. With Dakva, you are in full speed. Reaching people in need. Please, let us help the needy. And let's don't be greedy. You know, then turn the way they make crab it stingy and turn the way be safe for done now. This is the time where me and you two for able for be free and, and help for change people their lives. If me and you two do this, we not only go gain baraka blessings in this life, but we also gain baraka and plenty blessings on the day of Kiyam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the grant we, you know, such an opportunity. But now, the time for me to join your exciting corner, we be sana with Salaka corner. What do we Salaka corner get for you today? This country, we good people, and we are last one of us. I touch their hand and raise their hand, hopefully, they reach the people the way they need. Well, now the time don't come for we work with our body. We then sacrifice their time, then sacrifice all the uh, very important schedules, then for me to see them come program, then go through what in the program, then get a foundation we then call the Christ Charity Foundation. We then they as a mediator between the one them where they hand strong and the one them where they hand weak. For take from the one them where they hand strong and pass them to the one the way they hand weak. And this means say uh, then get one project where they launch when the RTU project. We use on this the one take from the people them where they get as Islam as we for pass them to the one them where they not get. So for read uh, the project to you. Then they ask you any member we want uh, reach to people them where they need the less privileged people them. Please cooperate with the Dakar for give one dollar per annum. Any year they want one dollar from you for ten thousand euros only. Now this money they want from you. Then get the membership having about more than eight hundred people them. But then see and fit say that then small small money we then they give that ten ten thousand euros or fifty thousand euros. You know go need for cover all the needs then in this country. As we know, Sierra Leone don't undergo trouble then for the past years then we don't get rebel war, then we get the Ebola, then uh, and another things then safely come. And based on that we get more people orphans then we get widows then we get picking them with the middle school yesterday they don't block because their family never continue for support them. They get people that go they hungry in the street where they're not getting for it. They get people that go to see clothing and their problem. All the one they are we just get for making them feel 
Okay, let's wait. Now this is long as we will do. So they want to leave you the diamond dollar or 10,000 euro, then they plan them with the you with them don't get us so they reach a huge number of people and then throughout the country. This is a big work. In the make a last one of what they appreciate me and a last one of what they saw in public. So let me not doubt them, please not say that this is nothing they go on. Maybe you be worried to them people and they what you not get the chance, Allah don't face the chance for you. For use them people, they let them take from you, they use them to the people them with and then you get Baraka, you get the reward. As we now know, services to mankind now one very important to worship with Islam in Kurdish too much. Sometimes they meet the Kaskara Surah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the best and the best person. We Allah like Islam recommend the Rasul say Khairun Nasi and Fabrikum Lin Nas. They say the best person, then you have service able to him people them. Alhamdulillah, we don't successfully come to the end of the 22nd edition. And I saw a going for a special thank you to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And thank you to all the one them we join me, we come together for make sure this particular program I reach you. Plenty thank you to William Producer William Brother Fuad Kabo and the one we turn up behind the camera for make sure say, this particular program I reach you. Inshallah, don't forget for tuning into your every television every Friday at exactly 2 30 for another exciting episode of your particular program where we say na arisala the message and they are for educate the young Muslims and Muslims and also even the non-Muslims. We may be bring the program come to you today. My name is Al Haji Abdurrahman. Till we meet next in another day's edition of Swadi Sema Salam. But as usual, as I take my leave, I just want to make you think about it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in chapter 3 verse 92 of the Holy Quran, by no means can you attain righteousness until you spend out of what you love. And whatever you spend, Allah surely knows it. Think about it.